Now let's learn about central solar supply department. Here we will be learning about equipment cleaning, disinfection, and now what is disinfection? It's a process where most microbes except bacterial spores are removed from a definite object or surface. But sterilization is a process by which an article surface or medium is made free from all microorganisms, including spores. But, but note that proper cleaning is essential before any disinfection or sterilization. Let's learn about spoil disk classification, which classifies the instruments into three categories as non-critical, semi-critical, and critical. So in tax, uh, non-critical are, are, are uh, the instruments which are in contact with the skin, while semi-critical are in contact with the non-intact skin and mucous membrane, while critical are uh, uh, instruments which enter into sterile areas of the body. Non-critical instruments like spigma manometers or semi-critical like, like laryngoscopic blades, while critical are the surgical instruments. Critical requires sterilization. Semi-critical requires high-level disinfection, while non-critical requires low-level to intermediate disinfection. So, based on the resistance, uh, resistance uh, uh, prions are the most resistant, followed by spores, then coccidia, then mycobacterium, then small viruses, fungi, vegetative bacteria, and finally the medium uh, lipid or medium-sized viruses. And according to the level of processing, then prion requires reprocessing, then uh, coccidia mycobacterium requires high-level disinfection or to sterilization. Then this uh, non lipid viruses require intermediate level disinfection and low uh, uh, lipid or medium size viruses because low level disinfections. High level disinfectants examples include glutaldehyde, opidaldehyde, paracetic acid, hydrogen peroxide. While intermediate level dis disinfectants are sodium hypochlorite, povidine iodine, thorazidin. Low level dis disinfectants are the alcohols and benzyl alkaline chlorides. How to select this disinfectant agent? It should be selected based on intent and use, the degree of disinfection, the spoilage classification, as mentioned before, the safety and time. CSS is a service within the hospital catering for the sterile supplies to all departments. Such, and it was previously known as TSSU, that is sterile supply unit or hospital sterile supply. The objective of the CSSD is to provide safer and to use medical and surgical equipment, reduce the burden of work maintain a cost effective program of instrument management and to avoid duplications. The objective of this is to maintain records of processes used and instrument process, to contribute in reducing infection rates, to maintain an inventory of supply and equipment, to provide a safe environment and to keep up to date with developments and advances. The function of the CSSD is to have cleaning, disinfection, drying, inspection and assembly, packaging, labeling, Sterilization, storage, and distribution. This is the essential include zoning, uninterrupted power supply, compressed air, water with low TDS, that is total uh, dissolved solids, then RO water is preferred for the final rinse. Environmental controls like temperature 80 to 25, humidity 40 to 60 percent, and pressure is cleaning and decontamination areas will be negative pressure or negative ventilation, and storage areas will be in a positive pressure or ventilation. Then the packaging materials will be woven, non oven pill pouches, paper or plastic closed containers. Appropriate PPE includes utility gloves and ice wear. Availability of safety data sheets of the metal tube. Periodic checks will be in place, equipment monitoring, audits, periodic training and documentations. Type of sterilization includes steam sterilization or auto closed sterilization, UTO, uh, that is ethylene oxide sterilization, plasma gas, paracetic acid, ozone, chlorine dioxide, hot air oven. Steam sterilization and UTOs are the most common. The steam sterilization requires exposure to direct steam contact, temperature of over 120 degrees Celsius, pressure of over 15 pounds pressure, timing of over 30 minutes is required, and should be used for sterilizing only heat stable items. Types of steam sterilization are gravity type displacement, pre vacuum dynamic air removal, fresh autoclave, or immediate use steam sterilization. sterilization. Performance qualification includes that the following information should be recorded such as sterilizer identification, cycle number, batch number, date of sterilization, reference number of the master process record, temperature, pressure, the signature of the CSD technician. This batch record should be verified and the load author. Then about heat sterilization, in ETO, ethylene oxide is released at an ambient temperature and pressure. Typical process temperature is about 37 to 55 degrees Celsius. Typical process pressure is 1 to 1.5 kg per centimeter square. Typical exposure time is 60 to 120 minutes. ETO kills by alkylation of micromolecules. It is highly penetrating with minimal material interaction. The time varies according to the material that is sterilized and the process. 
The process complies with the EPA requirements and is safe to use. Regarding storage, digital packages must be stored only on stainless steel racks. Stainless steel racks should be placed at a distance of 45 cm from the roof, 20-25 cm from the floor, and 5 cm from the wall. The shelf life of the sterilized items depends upon the method of sterilization. It is date and event really related. The sterilized items are this present on the first day, in and first on. The sterilization condition and the microbial status of the process items must be regularly monitored. But sterility is not visible. So how can we monitor the sterilization process? We will see this monitoring, how it is done by physical, chemical, and biological means in my next session.